bought a barrels full for him. And no matter where he was during the Revolutionary War, after uh, and when he became president, uh, she if if he was off somewhere, she'd ship quite a few barrels off to him, no matter where he was at. Um, he loved it. Uh, I'm a fan of it too. Uh, by the sounds of it, some people that have sampled my interpretation uh, like it too, because that's why they're here. Uh, it's kind of easy to make, but it's kind of a process. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, and just like anything else, uh, there's a process to it. And if you try to skip a step, uh, in the process, once you have made all your ingredients and mixed it all together, and you're aging it, uh, I would not touch it to sample to see what you've done for at least three weeks. Because everything has to macerate and mix and meld and come to some really goodness. Uh, but uh, it's advised to wait six weeks before you dive into it. Um, and once you do dive into it, uh, I would suggest that the three week mark of aging it and letting it uh, come to its full goodness, start another batch because that first batch is gonna go. Um, okay, couple of things. If you are using whole nutmeg, I like clove. I like allspice. You can use uh, powdered form. Be sure it's fresh. You want the flavor of the ingredients. You don't want some dried out, nasty cup. Cinnamon stick. Uh, you can sometimes, you don't have to put it in a blender, just smash it up. And you can see for an entire fifth, I've only got like about a third of a stick. I made a mistake of putting two sticks in a batch one time. And it was anybody familiar with fire water? Oh, yeah. They, they, yeah. You, you turn a very nice drink into fire water. And yeah. you don't want to do that. Um, or you can use it powdered. Uh, I get these, these came from actually the, the Caribbean, from Grenada. This came from because uh, I ran out of nutmeg from Grenada. Um, my cherries also too came from Giant Eagle. I uh, get the tarts. Uh, I guess if you're if they don't have tarts, you could use a sweet because um, you're going to dump a bunch of sugar in this anyhow. Uh, you can use whiskey or brandy. Um, I prefer whiskey myself. Uh, and this is a uh, 18th century grain bill of what George Washington used. Them, Climax, and who else? Uh, somebody mentioned Woodford. Yeah, Woodford. Uh, Woodford Reserve uh, uses the same uh, proportion of grain, which is 51% or more of rye, which actually is a grass, and it's the seed from the grass. 45% uh, corn and 5% malt. These are some friends of mine out in Washington, PA. They make a very fine, fine product. Uh, not only uh, their Basset Town, which is a white whiskey, unaged, never saw the inside of a barrel. Uh, just regular old white sugar. Uh, my brother, <coughs> Tim, he uses brown sugar. Eh, a little different taste to it. And vanilla bean. Uh, you can substitute uh, pure vanilla extract. Do not use imitation. Um, and I use uh, vanilla bean. I don't scrape out the inside. I slice it up, open it up, and I dump it in. Because there's flavor in the uh, bean too. 
So first thing, the way I make it, for a fifth, I take, I take two. Now, there's two constituents in, in a real uh, nutmeg nut. There's nutmeg, and then there is mace. How many of you all know prefer mace? Okay. The mace is like when you peel a peanut, that skin that's on the nut, that's what mace is to a nutmeg. So you think that's the best way I can describe it. Um, Martha would have used a mortar and pestle to uh, smash this up. Now the nut 
nutmeg is not as um, apparent in the smell uh, because you have all the other uh, spices uh, lending their uh, particular properties to it.
to cover the chairs. It's okay if they float a little bit, but and for a waddle. jar, uh, but don't add your alcohol, because what's going to happen uh, when alcohol gets hot, it'll start to evaporate. Uh, and even if you hurry up and do it, you're, it's still going to evaporate, and I, I've never done it that way, so I don't know if it's going to influence the flavor of it. It's, it's not going to take long. If, if you want to speed up the process, uh, Put your plug in the sink, throw a bunch of ice in there, run some water, and then submerge this, and that ice water will cool it down a lot faster if you're in a hurry. Gee, I wonder how we noticed that. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go put this on the uh, oven, or no, the stove in the back, and feel free to. Cinnamon stick, do you, you're grinding that as well? Or? No, I'm going to oh, okay. put my cinnamon stick in. Whole, all right. That so way. Vanilla bean, that goes in. Last. So, yeah. yeah. Um, you cut, well, what I do with mine.
is you set the cherries at three weeks, take them out, mash them up. Throw the skins get, away. Get the mash back in, throw the skins away, but then you add another batch yeah, another, of cherries. Yeah. Is it another batch of cherries that you boil like this yes. with the, yes, you with have the to, sugar and everything, same thing? Yeah, you have and then to. You said,